Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson again, and we're going to continue our studies. We are now reviewing for the grade seven interim part two math exam. So if you need help with your homework, there's Dial a Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursday from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Don't forget to watch our show math time on Tuesdays from 4 p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. on Optimum Cablevision Channel 15. We also have YouTube videos available, so check out my YouTube channel. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. Let us know what we're doing right. Write us a comment, and we'll be glad to respond to you as well. You can tweet me at DRobMath1. Look for our latest release, PKMS Math Prep 19. That's our 2019 movie, very good movie. And we're working currently on the 2020 Math Prep. So hopefully that'll be out in April of 2020. All right. Here's our first question. Jocelyn's lunch at Burger Town costs $13 without tax. She leaves the waiter a tip of 17% of, of the cost of the lunch without tax. What is the total cost of the lunch, including the tip without tax? So Jocelyn there is going to leave some money, which is extra money above the bill. So I'm going to get my calculator because I see the word of there, and that's very handy. When you see a percent and of, 99% of the time it means multiply that percent. So I'm going to take 17%, uh, remember second left parenthesis would give you that. Me, I have a percent button on this calculator, good calculator. And I'm going to multiply that by the amount she spent at Burger Town, which was $13. And this is going to give me the amount of tip that she's going to leave because she's going to leave two dollars and 21 cents for a tip now remember a tip is extra money for the waiter or waitress giving you good service so i'm going to look at the question one more time just to see what they're asking for they're asking for the total cost so they want the total cost that means everything you pay including the tip and that's without tax. So let's go back to the calculator because we have to not only leave the tip of $2.21, we also have to pay for the meal, which is $13. So let's add $13 to that amount of $2.21, and that'll give us $15.21, which Jocelyn will have to pay. So let's drag that out. And that is choice letter D. So if you chose choice D, you're in good shape. And now, Jocelyn, enjoy your meal. All right, number two. The table below shows a proportional relationship between X and Y. Write an equation to represent the table. Well, here's our numbers. Here's our column for X, the independent variable. And Y is dependent upon that. There's our Y column. But we have a third column here. Remember, when you have a proportional relationship, there's always a special number that uh, comes up all the time. It constantly appears. And the word constantly should remind you of that letter K for constant of proportionality, which the formula is Y over X. So we're going to take our Y value and divide it by the X value and see what we get. So in this case, we get k is equal to y over x, 3 over 21, which is reduced down to 1 7. So it looks like our constants of proportionality is 1 out of 7. So we'll try this one, 5 over 35. And if you get your calculator, that'll reduce down also to 1 over 7. So, so far, so good. We're going to reduce all of these fractions as well, 7 over 49. And that'll give you also 1 7. So it looks good, like our constants of proportionality is 1 7. And check these last two. So I give you a second to check it. So you may pause the video. Okay. 
Does it check out to be one over seven? If you said yes, you are right. So all of them, notice they're one over seven, not seven over one. So be careful not to fall into that trick where you put the wrong number. So it's always y over x. Okay? So now that we got the constants of proportionality, all we have to do is multiply that by the letter x and make that equal to y, and that will give us our equation. So y is equal to k over x. That's how we write our equation. And all we do is replace the k with the value that we found, which was 1 7. So our expression or our linear equation would be y equal 1 7 x. Good question. Well, I am going to pause right now and say I hope you understand what's going on. If you're not sure, we watch the video. Write down your questions. Bring them in because we got a review for this big test coming up. So I got one more question, so let's look at it. Last year, 950 students viewed Math Prep 19. Hey, that's my movie. This year, 1,520 students viewed it. Good. What was the percent increase in viewers from last year to this year? All right, there's Miss M. She was in Math Prep 19. So we're doing percent increase. So percent increase, if my memory tells me right, I got to figure out what's the difference between last year's viewership and this year's viewership. So difference is the answer to subtraction. So I'm going to take these two numbers and I'm going to subtract them and take the absolute value of them. So let me get my calculator and subtract those numbers. Let's clear this. All right, I got 950 minus 1520. So that's the first thing I do. That is going to equal to negative 570. So now that I got negative 570, I'm going to take the absolute value of that number. So the absolute value of negative 570, so let's put this in absolute value symbols. So the absolute value of negative 570 is positive 570. Okay. Now I have to divide that by the original amount of viewership from the beginning. So I'm going to divide all of that by the original amount. Well, which one's the original amount? Because I got two numbers here. So uh, this year it was 1520. So that's new. Last year is old, and it's old should remind you of the original amount. So I'm going to divide that by 950. So that'll be my original amount which is the formula. If you haven't seen that video I made on finding percent increase using this nice little formula, percent change, um, check it out. It's a good video. So I'm going to change this fraction, which, uh, which uh, I'm taking the 570, and I'm going to divide it by 950, but I want to change it to a percent because they want percent increase. So I'm going to multiply that by the magic number and yes, the magic number is 100 in order to change that to a percent. So this looks like a lot of calculator work. So let me get my calculator out to help me out. All right. So where's my calculator? There it is. All right. So let's clear. I'm going to type 570. And... I could use the ABC button and make it a fraction. I think I'll use that for a change. And 950 on the bottom. That was the original amount. I'm going to times that by 100. And uh, that'll give me my percent, 60. And there's my percent. So let's grab that. that up a little bit. So I get 60%. So my choice is letter C. 
So let's circle that. Okay. So let's move Miss M from Math Prep 19. And there it is, choice C. So if you pick choice C, you're in good shape. So that's percent increase. So hopefully you studied that. So if you haven't, check out my video on that. So I hope you enjoyed the movie. If you still need help, there's Dollar Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380 from Monday to Thursday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So give them a call. They have very nice teachers. Watch Math Time on Tuesday, 4.30 to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cablevision and Peak Skill uh, at, on Channel 15. And check us out. See some of your fellow students and myself. Watch Dr. Rob Vincent on YouTube. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you, my subscribers. Our latest release is PKMS Math Prep 19. And you can tweet me at DRobMath1. Good luck on your exam. I think you'll do well if you keep watching the, our videos and subscribing to our channel. Look for our latest releases as we continue our reviews and our studies. Remember, there's Math Prep 20 coming out, so look for it. See you soon. Bye-bye.